It is time to get some coffee. I need ice. Okay, so today is Friday, July 14th, and um, we have an appointment this afternoon, but here during the day, I think we're going to go pick some strawberries. We didn't get a chance to do that this week, so I think Alex and I are going to try to go get some strawberries. I also wanted to try to make some jam out of the raspberries we've been picking off of our raspberry bush out front. And we'll see if we get a chance to do that. Not too sure if we will. Um, Alex has wanted to go see a movie. Now, since we have moved to Idaho, we moved here just before, the, like three weeks before the pandemic started. So we haven't been to a theater since we moved here. So we may or may not do that this week. That may be next week. We'll see how that goes. She's still in bed. And we'll have to see what time she gets up and what amount of time we have left. coffee already and I was talking while I was making my coffee and you could tell very very without a doubt that I had just woke up and it might not be much better right now however I have had a few sips of caffeine at this point so I figured I would try to record re-record <laughs> an intro for this morning Alex is still in bed um, I'm working on the darker of the two yesterday. So I wound two balls yesterday and here's the second one. First one's going in as we speak. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about our plans for today. I think we're going to try to go to a, like a, it's kind of like a farm. It's called a you pick farm. So you can go in and pick some of the berries yourself. Some have strawberries and blackberries and peas and just different fruits and veggies that you can go in and pick yourself on these farms for a fee obviously um, and I think Alex and I are gonna do that today um, we have an appointment this afternoon and we'll see how much time we have Alex and I have talked about going to a movie we haven't been to a movie theater since before the pandemic started. So we have talked about going to a movie theater and seeing the new Minions movie. I'm not sure if we will or not, but it is something we have talked about. So um, this weekend, I think I'm probably, it really is gonna depend on Alex and her mood and how she has things in mind for the weekend. Um, 
I may do some Lyft driving this weekend. I've got a friend's birthday dinner I'm going to be attending on Saturday evening. And yeah, I think that's it. I wanted to share today's colorway with you. I was hoping I could ramble enough to get to the end of this row though. Maybe I should just speed it up. I just have a little bit left and then I'll feel okay about setting it down. I know every one of you can relate. Just get to the end of the row. <laughs> Okay, so there's my progress so far with that darker of the two that I wound yesterday. And there's my stitch marker. So I know where to where I stopped with my short rows. Okay, so we will set this down and let's talk about today's colorway. Look at that dark, dark, almost has some grays in there. Open it up. absolutely has some grays in there. And that, that's a really, I can't tell if that's a dark purple or a dark gray, but it's got both. <laughs> so I am absolutely enjoying these colors more. I knew when I was starting this project and I'm so glad that I was able to see all the colors ahead of time um, so that I could get those oranges out of the way because then I knew the rest of the month I was just going to be in love with the colors. So that's the color for today and I love it. Like that's very purple but there's some grays in there too that are just lovely. Um, I think I'm going to get my coffee. I included a little bit about with Miracle yesterday. Miracle is Anthony's newfie. And we got Miracle when Anthony had his accident. We were in Alaska and we got sent to a specialty rehab hospital that specializes in spinal cord injuries and brain injuries in um, Colorado. So we got sent to the specialty hospital and the very first night we were there, it was a Monday, um, they had what they called Newfie night. And we didn't know at this point that each day of the week, pretty much each day of the week, had a different type or breed of animal that came in as therapy animals. So Monday was Newfie night. And so, and I know it wasn't actually like this, but in my mind, <laughs> the way I remember this, this door swung open and these four just, and I think it's because of the way they were moving and their hair, it just floated. It was these four glamorous looking, beautiful black dogs just walked through the door and they walked down the hall and they just dispersed into different patients' rooms. I honestly don't know that I was even in the hallway when, <laughs> when they walked in through the double doors, but that's just how I've envisioned this whole thing. <laughs> um, they had um, labs come in and golden retrievers that would climb up on the physical therapy mats with the patients and just lay there. At this point in time, Anthony couldn't really communicate. Anthony verbally wasn't, I mean, he could say words, but 
it wasn't always the appropriate word. Asking him what his name was, and he would say chapstick or something like that. And so it wasn't it wasn't something where he could communicate, and he knew he was using the wrong words. So that of course would be frustrating for him. And these animals would come in and they don't care. They don't care if you're using the right word. And they don't care how therapy went that day. And they just want to love you. <laughs> and it was just an absolutely amazing experience. They had um, small dogs come in and big dogs come in. They had a rabbit that would come in, a cat. I mean, it was truly an amazing program that this hospital did for their patients. And as we were there, because we were there for several months, um, I started asking Anthony's um, psychologist, you know, when we go home, do you think having a dog because I saw what having this unconditional love this unconditional joy um did for Anthony and so I asked about having a puppy home for Anthony or if having a puppy would be too frustrating you know because you got the whole training bit and they encouraged it. They said, no, we think that would be an absolutely wonderful idea. So I started looking for a breeder and um, we did find a breeder, but they were sending us from Denver to another rehab facility in Omaha. And so it was going to be, it was tricky trying to get Miracle picked up, but we did get Miracle picked up. She was 10 weeks old when we got her. The breeder was kind enough to hold her two weeks past what she wanted, or maybe it was just a week anyway. Um, and Miracle stayed in the hotel with me the first bit of her life while Anthony was in this other rehab facility because I, at this second facility, they didn't let me stay with him. Um, so I was, I was, a few miles away at a hotel and I would just go spend each day with him. And I had Miracle with me. So it was, um, Miracle and Anthony have been through a lot and she has been with that boy through a lot. And she's just got this phenomenal personality that is, it's a lot like living with Eeyore. <laughs> she's just humdrum about everything and she loves her boy. She loves being with him. And it's really kind of cool to see the two of them together. Now, yesterday, Anthony's air conditioning went out at home. So his AC went out. It was like 104 degrees yesterday. So he has water buckets throughout the house for her. The maintenance person is going to be over there today between two and four to fix it. So that was just a 24 hour thing. But Miracle was pretty just, I'm not moving. I'm just going to lay here. But Anthony's got water um, bowls with ice cubes in them to keep the water cool for her. He had laid a towel on his hardwood floor, a dry towel, and then he had soaked um, a bath towel and wrung it out so it was damp but not dripping and laid that right in front of a fan for her and so when you see her laying <laughs> on that white thing that was a damp towel that he had put out there for her and she just laid there on that damp towel right in front of the fan um, and that's how she spent her evening <laughs> I will try to get more footage of Miracle when she's up and about a little bit more but yesterday she was hot. She was not loving the temperature. Um, it's supposed to be another hot one today. It is currently 82 degrees. Uh, we will see what the weather's like later today. Sorry for the rambling. Um, I might not even include this. Who knows? <laughs> I might watch this tonight when I am much more awake and be like, Tanya, what were you doing? <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. All right, you guys, that's enough for now. I'm going to knit until Alex wakes up, and I will see you guys later. Bye.
much more than just holy water. The wind is roaring my heavy song. It's been way too long since I almost caught her. a good girl hi so it is friday night and cinder and i are here hi cinder Binner. what a day what a week um alex and i you would have seen by now went to a cherry or, or an orchard and we picked cherries and we ended up getting four pounds of cherries um it was amazing. And while we were there, there was a stuffed Care Bear on the woman's desk. And Alex asked, oh, what is that Care Bear for? And there was a note that said um, that the bear had been there for two years. It had been dropped in the orchard by a little kid and never reclaimed. And it was looking for a new home. So the woman gave it to Alex. So we have brought home the Sunshine Care Bear to wash and mend and give it some love. And Alex is very excited about that. But then we got home and Alex um, divvied up some different baggies and took some cherries to some of our neighbors. And um, when Alex's dad got home, I ended up going to the yarn shop because it's Friday night and it's our knit night. And it is a friend of mine's birthday. Two of my friends have birthdays this weekend. And they there were goodies and stuff. And so I ended up going to the yarn shop tonight and getting some knitting done, which was awesome. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it, you guys. I'm going to try to get this video uploaded tonight and go to bed. I'm exhausted. And I will see you all in the morning. Good night. Cinder, say good night. Good night, Cinder.